Welcome back YouTube to be here, day number 214, I think. Yeah, I think Rexy Attitude there yesterday was 213, but anyhow, not to worry. I've got from the victory bloody people over there in the United States, I've got their Storm King Imperial Stout, 9.1% alcohol, uh, it's 1.8%. Two and a half standard drinks, approximately. It's a 12 ounce um, bottle. Looks pretty cool. A bit of a fucking owl there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's get into it. Emerging from the deepest shades of the darkness, a rolling crescendo of flavours bursts forth from this robust stout. The thundering, hoppy appeal of Storm King subsides into the mellow subtleties of roasted malt. Um, exhibiting an espresso-like depth of character in its finish. Okay. An exquisite blend of imported malts and whole flower American hops merge harmlessly in this complex ale. Discover the intrigue of Storm King as it reveals the rich subterranean flavours as it holds within. Cheers! And here, I just want to drink it. I don't want to read it anymore. I want to give you a bit of info. So they've wrapped it up a fair bit. It's got a bit of dust on the top of the bottle. So, years by dates, two years. I can actually smell that from here. And, um, smells a very, it smells a bit tarty. Like, like a nice tart. Pick, definitely picking up the hops, but they also like smells real fruity. And then you get the nice roasted um, your malts, like like the espresso. What I would, what, what's the way I reckon they were going on, but yeah, there's just a nice combination, and it's a real nice sweet sweet smell. Yeah, then yeah, I'm drinking it. Definitely feel the warmth of the alcohol content. The aftertaste I'm picking up straight away is what's sitting in my mouth now is like that nice espresso, more like a, uh, you know, nice espresso coffee. Pick it, maybe like a cappuccino if you've had a cappuccino or something. Up front flavours are slightly hoppy, slightly hoppy, um, but they just soon like this away and leave you the nice roasted mouth feel. It feels light in the mouth, not thick. Um, <clears throat> I'd say flavours up straight up front would be. It's kind of like it's like a. A port like straight up front, but not a real harsh one, and it just slowly just disappears. And but you can definitely tell the alcohol content that's in there. I mean, it's not overbearing. I mean, it is two standard drinks. It's coming out like liquid syrup. Beautiful, nice head on it. Probably a beer you'd want to sit here and sip on it for a while, and let as it warms up, let the um, flavours and that. I'm gonna. I'll give this. I'm gonna give this a four. Uh, the only downside about it is that this tiny little bit of the alcohol content you can taste. Um, but if you want something to warm you up, I suppose that's all right. And I just just a bit off putting by the start of it but it's still a very very um, nice stout I mean I, I, I love stouts and that so it's not the better one I can't give it a five if it's not not one that I've had before there's definitely better ones out there but <coughs> give it a go it's something different it's got a good mix of the hops yeah anyhow that's enough of me raving on it's been beer day number two I'm only going to say 2014 but 214 imagine that
Yeah. And now, people, take it easy, be kind to one another, and I'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow with another beverage. Take it easy, people.